Hey FosTube, welcome to Creative Limb Studio. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for being here and spending time with me today. Today's Friday, July 23rd, and this is Tube 126. So I have so much to share with you guys. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but we'll just see how it goes. The last time we visited, it was two weeks ago Friday. I did my tube, and then, <laughs> this is so funny, that night... I wanted to put all of the boxes together, the swag boxes. I'll just show you a little bit. They're about this size. So when I ordered them, they all came just flat. And I think Kevin actually was going to fold them or put them together or something. Anyways, the whole family pitched in. It was quite hilarious. We had Kyle, my mom, Jerry, Kevin, and myself putting these boxes together and it went like that. So, you know, the saying many hands make work light and it certainly did. So I was very appreciative that they helped. And then Saturday morning, that next morning, I made my way to Keepsakes in um, Cincinnati, Ohio. And it was awesome. So I had to meet and greet from one to two. And I mean, originally I was going there to pick up my trunk show that they had at StitchCon. And then after StitchCon, she displayed it in her shop. She displayed it beautifully. And when I walked in, it was like, I, I mean, I saw a picture of it, but I didn't know it was right inside the door. It was beautifully displayed. And Barbara has a real eye for that. And then at one, from one to two, it was a meet and greet. So I had a total blast just visiting with everybody there and I was very grateful for those who were there to say hi. I had a lady, Tammy Easterling, she and her mom drove three and a half hours to be there so I was really grateful for that. It was so sweet of them and um, it was just, it was a good time. I went by myself. Uh, I think I mentioned in my last video that uh, Kevin forgot he had a gig that day. So I was thinking about having someone go with me. My mom said she wanted to go, and then that just didn't work out. So it was fine. I went by myself. You know, something about taking a road trip by yourself, it just, like, you have a lot of time to think. Kevin always says, like, when he goes deer hunting, he loves it because it's just, you have nothing else going on, so you have time to really think about things. So I usually don't have the radio on, and I just, I think a lot. <laughs> So that's where some good ideas come from. But anyway, um, so thank you, Barbara, for first of all, having me, you know, have the trunk show for Stitch Con and then having the meet and greet. And her husband was amazing. He and um, I don't think it was just him alone, but uh, the ladies at uh, Keepsakes packaged everything up and had it ready to go by two o'clock because I really needed to get out of there because I was stopping at Finley, Ohio at Craft Gallery on the way home to pick up something that they framed for me. Well, here's the interesting part. I thought they closed at five. So I was gonna make it there and it was gonna be about 10 to five. Well, I don't know, I think it was actually Barbara. Somebody said, I think they closed at four on Saturdays. And I was like, what? <laughs> sure enough, they closed at four. There was no way I was gonna make it by, you know, four at that point. So I get in touch with Paula and I, you know, said, I can come to your home and pick it up. I don't want you to have to stay after. And But they had dinner plans. So Patty, wonderful Patty that works there for them, uh, she stayed after. And I almost ran out of gas getting there because I looked at the gas tank when I left Keepsakes and I thought, I've got enough to get there. I mean, it's only a two and a half hour drive. And I really thought I had enough to get there. I mean, I did have enough to get there, but like barely. So I 
panicked when, because I had it in my head, I had enough gas, so as I'm driving, I'm not even thinking about that. And all of a sudden, I hear this ding, 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 and I'm like, what is that? And I look, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like really, really low. So I, right at that time that that happened, I was supposed to go this way, but I went that way, which then, you know, makes my trip longer. It actually didn't because what happened is I got off the next exit. I put in nearest gas station. It took me there. And then I was only like two minutes from the craft gallery after I filled up my tank. But, you know, it just added time to my trying to get there because I felt bad enough that Patty stayed after for me. Anyway, she was more than happy to do it. So it was very sweet of her. Okay. And then I do my best not to work Sundays. So I didn't. I just did laundry, got my clothes organized, and, you know, kind of putzed around the house and played cards with mom and stuff like that on Sunday. And then Monday was when I filled all the boxes, the swag boxes. So they were put together. I had all of the, yeah, Friday night also, I, um, not night, but Friday afternoon, I did all of the uh, thread packs. I got all the floss in the little thread pack for the swag box. I did that Friday. That's right. So then Monday, I was I had everything ready. I just had to put it all in the boxes, 150 of them, and, you know, get them ready. So we planned on, well, okay, we ordered a new truck. We were hoping to get it before our trip to Tulsa, Oklahoma for the Silver Needle Retreat. It came in, but the tonneau cover would not be ready they said a few days or something after we had to already leave so we were going to rent a vehicle to go to tulsa you can't rent vehicles i mean it's it's hard to find a vehicle to rent because i guess it's backlash from covid and not having a lot of you know vehicles available so we couldn't rent a vehicle so we were going to take our van packing wise would have been great but you know, the van's a little bit older and we just, I was worried it wouldn't make it there and back. And I, even if it did, it still would be a lot of miles to put on an older vehicle. So, but we, that's what we were going to do. Then at the last possible minute on Monday around, I don't know, one o'clock noon, something like that. The dealership called and said, you're not going to believe this, but the tonneau cover came in this morning. We have it already put on, you know, come and get it when you can. So I said to Kevin, well, until I get these boxes ready, I'm not going anywhere. So I was under the gun. I did a little test and I could do so many in like 20 minutes. So we figured it out. It was going to take me five hours. It took me pretty much exactly five hours <laughs> and got it done. Five o'clock, went down there, you know, didn't get home till like, I don't know, 9, 30, 10, something like that. Came down, did a little bit more work, but I, you know, that took time out of the day that I wasn't planning. So I was wasn't completely ready and packed. So we didn't get out of here until um, on Tuesday until like 11, 11.30, something like that. You know, we wanted to leave earlier, obviously, but you know, getting out of town is always difficult. So we traveled Tuesday. We stayed just outside of St. Louis, Missouri, and then we made our way the rest of the day on Wednesday. We got there Wednesday and uh, unloaded the truck. Oh, by the way, Everything barely fit in this truck. Kevin has always been, I call him the master packer because he always managed to get everything in. We've done shows, trade shows, craft shows, art shows, I mean, for 30 years now. And he always managed to get everything in there. I don't know how, but he does. So we got there Wednesday, unloaded everything, and then we basically had just enough time to kind of get clean up and ready and change clothes. And we met uh, Mendy Russell, Missouri Stitcher. She has a floss tube. I'll link her below. We met her for dinner. We have a lot in common. We had an awesome time getting to know her. She lives in Sykeston, Missouri, which is close to where my family lives down there. So I'm very familiar with Sykeston, Missouri. And she just recently opened a quilt shop. So I'm really excited for her. It's in an old house and it's and when I say old, I mean old like as in cool moldings and stuff. I don't mean old and decrepit. I mean old and classic and cool. You got to go watch her video. Um, I love how she does her floss tubes. 
Hi. What do you need, honey? <laughs> I love how she does her floss tubes because she does it in vlog style. So they're like 15, 20 minutes long. So they're a fun watch because she just takes you throughout her day and her week, which is what I do on my art channel. So I'll link that below too. But I have another YouTube channel where I do more of a vlog style. I call it Create Tube and I do like little daily videos and things like that. So it's a little more behind the scenes that way. So anyway, we did that Wednesday and then uh, Thursday, we didn't have to be to the venue uh, where the retreat was until later in the day, which was good because I still had to get Mod Podge and paint brushes. And these were things I was going to do before we left, but going to get the truck, you know, kind of ate up some time there. So we did some shopping and, and that kind of thing. And then we went to the venue and uh, there's so much to talk about. I don't know in order of everything, but something about this retreat that was so amazing is I got to meet Mendy, which is um, one of my model stitchers. And then also I got to meet Nathan Grogan. He is one of my model stitchers as well. And he was the only gentleman at the retreat. And he was there with his aunt, which Tracy is amazing. I really enjoyed getting to meet her. I uh, got to see, I've met Jan Emmerich before. She's another one of my model stitchers. But we, her and I met at the Prim Stitch Society retreat. I don't know. I want to say it was 2018. It was a while back. And then I got to see Shauna Rogers. Shauna and I met last fall at the Midwest Cross Stitchers retreat. And she has been model stitching for me since then as well. So four of my model stitchers all at one retreat is really, really awesome. So much to say about everybody. Um, everyone was so gracious, so kind, and so welcoming. It was amazing. And meeting Janine McGowan from The Blue Flower, she is a delight and the sweetest person. I mean, just the sweetest person. So... And Lindy, I mean, Lindy, I know Lindy from Market, but it's busy at Market, so I really have never sat down and visited with her. So we got to spend a lot of time with, Kevin and I got to spend a lot of time with her and her husband, Craig, and they are just awesome, super genuine, just kind people, and the staff at the Silver Needle, everybody's just so wonderful. So yeah, I can't say enough about the people that I met. What is a retreat about? It's about the people and it just couldn't have been any, any better than it was. So, so that was, uh, Wednesday. Uh, no, I mean, that was Thursday. Yes. Yeah, so well, Thursday after dinner, I presented my kit to everybody. We, uh, inside three of the kits, it said you won and I gave away, I'll do, I have a little video of the punch needle models that I gave away. One was a gift for Lindy as a thank you. And then the other six were giveaways. So three of them went to people that got a swag box that said you won. And then I had a questionnaire inside everybody's swag box and I gave them five minutes to fill out the questionnaire. Then we went over all the answers and I ad libbed on some of the, you know, questions just to, you know, share a little bit more about my life and career. And then, um, you know, you know, how many people got 25 right? Or, you know, did anybody get 24 right? Mindy Russell got 24 right out of the 25. Uh, so she got to come up and pick one of the punch needle models. And so that's how that worked. And that was really fun. And then um, I also on Saturday did some more giveaways. I had some little black and beeswax, cinnamon, really amazing, um, things to give away. One was a sheep and different shapes and things are kind of like ornaments or you can put them in a little bowl, that kind of thing. And then I had some uh, needle minders and a needle nanny or needle tin. I don't know the names of all these things that um, was from Zappy Dots that had my work on them. So those were some other little giveaways that I did. So anyways, uh, what else? So that was Saturday and then Saturday night. No, that was Thursday. I'm getting out of myself. That was Thursday, Thursday night. Yeah, that's right. Thursday night we ate dinner there. Friday night, Friday day, Janine presented her amazing. 
You know, her squirrels, she's known for her amazing squirrels, but she had three projects. So everybody was spoiled. Let's just put it that way. And Janine get a, did a great job presenting and it was just a lot of fun. My, my make it and take it was a journal. I'll do a little insert that will show the inside of everything that they got in my swag box. Actually, I'll just insert that here. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what I put in the Silver Needle Retreat swag box. So I had these little stickers made, which is uh, just a portion of the sampler. And then I used that to seal the box right here. And then I printed this print off and adhered it to the box. So what they get inside is a business card and um, I had those printed specifically with all these different sampler images on them. And then on the backs, all my information. This is by Moo.com. I have a link in the description box below. They're amazing. They're nice and thick. And I love that they're full color. Okay. So that is inside their box. Then they get the sampler that I designed specifically for the retreat. They get a piece of 36 count Zweigart uh, grandma slip, 21 by 24 inch piece from X Shoe Designs. They get the DMC floss kit. They get a journal with a print that this is their make and take. So they're gonna uh, decoupage that onto their journal. And I'll show you what that looks like. So this is what it looks like. So what I did is I took the the verse in our home, let love abide and bless those who step inside. I took that off in Photoshop and I put the Silver Needle Retreat July 2021 journal so that they can put photos in it, write notes about their um, experience at the retreat. And then I have a little Q&A, which is going to have door prizes and then ideas for your silver needle retreat journal and just has some bullet points of things that in case they needed some inspiration for what to put in their journal. So that's it. That is it. So then I just take a little sticker off and I seal the box with the sticker. There you go. And then Friday night, uh, Lindy and her husband Craig and Kevin and I, we all went out to dinner and the food was delicious. It was amazing. We went back to their house and had some cocktails and visited more and it was awesome to get to know them. And then Saturday, okay, so I was actually like a half an hour late Friday and like an hour late Saturday because so in, in our bedroom, we don't, we have a walkout or a slide out a slider door that goes out onto the deck. I don't have curtains on that. So when it's daylight, bam, I'm up. I don't care if I go to bed at three or four in the morning, if it's light out, I can't sleep. Well, in the hotel, we had the blackout curtains pulled and I stayed up late a couple nights. Therefore, I slept in <laughs> Friday and Saturday. I mean, it wasn't like you have to be here by a certain time, but I felt bad. I wanted to be there at nine when it started. Anyways, um, also, I want to mention that in case someone that was at the retreat, I didn't make it to your table. My apologies. I meant to get on the microphone and say, you know, raise your hand if I haven't been to your table. Sometimes I'd go to a table to talk, but not everybody was at the table. So I, I really tried my hardest to get to every table and to talk to everybody. And, uh, you know, everyone's up and about and doing all kinds of stuff. So I'm not sure that I actually made that goal 100%, but if I missed you, I apologize. Um, it was busy and it was really, really fun. So that was, uh, so then Saturday we, you know, everyone started kind of wrapping up and, you know, leaving around, I seemed like it was around two, like after lunch and stuff. Oh, by the way, the food, let's just talk about the food for a minute. Lindy had it catered by a amazing restaurant that's right there in the same kind of plaza that she's in 
It was incredible. All the food was awesome. Her husband did smoked uh, chicken legs. Oh my gosh, they were amazing too. Then she had, I mean, she had lunch, she had snacks, we had dinner, and then we had uh, cupcakes. But not your typical cupcakes. They were in, if you watch Mendy Russell's video, she recorded it. But they were in like a cup and it had a, a hole in the top and there's this spoon. It was like a long spoon and the handle came out of the top of that hole. So it was like, I think it was like a little bit of cake at the bottom or a little bit of frosting. And then it had the cupcake in the center and then a bunch of frosting on top. They had amazing flavors. The one I tried first was carrot cake. Well, I, both of mine actually I didn't eat when I was there because I was too busy talking to people, but I did take them back to the hotel and we ate them on the way home in the truck. But I got carrot cake and the other one I got because someone recommended it was the Almond Joy. If you like coconut, the Almond Joy was really the best. They had Reese's, they had uh, strawberry cheesecake, they had blueberry cheesecake, they had wedding cake. A key lime pie, a lemon like flavored one. I mean, and I'm probably not even naming all of them, but you had your choice. It was so good. <laughs> so good. So she really takes care of her people. She had, you know, refreshments and drinks all day long. I mean, just really goes over the top to treat everybody, you know, with open arms. So hats off to Lindy and staff. I mean, an amazing job. Oh, and then they had a, a a fundraiser where you could buy tickets and she had you know certain things that they were raffling off and I donated a couple of original paintings for that they had some like you could get three set I think it was three sets of Dobo scissors that was the one I put all my tickets in I didn't win it but <laughs> so she had that going on which was awesome and I can't think of the name of the I'll put it in the link below all of the proceeds and then she matched the proceeds as well all of that goes to this amazing program where they take children six months to I forget how old six months to six years old I think six months to six it sounds right but um, deaf children and they get them in early and teach them sign language and help them and you'll have to read about this amazing nonprofit organization um, they I think uh, Craig was talking about it and he said that 80% of the money that comes in goes straight to the kids they house them their siblings can be there with them you know so they're not alone I mean it's just an, an incredible thing that they do so what else? I mean how much goodness can I talk about here <laughs> Then they had the pincushion exchange. I have a little insert. So not everybody was involved in that. And I think what they did is if you were involved in it, you got a number and then uh, you drew a number and that number coordinated with one of the uh, pincushions on the table. I'll insert that little video here.
Wasn't that cool? I did want to participate in that, but I did not have time to make anything for it. But maybe next time. And then the shop itself. It's a dream. <laughs> when we walked in, when we first arrived on Tuesday to unload everything, you know, we went to the store first so that she could show us where to go to the to the retreat. It's in the same like complex. But anyways, when I walked in, I was just like, oh, <laughs> it's like a dream in there. And when you first walk in, consider the lilies is right there, all beautifully framed and such perfection. Just that design is amazing. And it's so huge and just gorgeous. But anyway, I took a video also of the shop. So I will insert that when I'm done talking about the retreat, I'll insert that. And then I will continue on with the rest of my like normal floss tube where I have some haul and I have whips and all that. So let's finish up here. Um, I guess that's, Oh yeah, so Saturday, like I said, things started to wrap up around two. We had um, tore down everything, tables, chairs. Uh, I worked on, oh yeah, I gotta insert the video of uh, the trunk show that I brought and that Janine brought. So let me insert that right here.
So Saturday, Janine, you know, was working on packing her things up. I worked on packing my things up. And while we were doing that, people were taking the chairs and the tables and getting those all tore down. It just went lickety split. We were done, I think, by 4, 4.30, something like that. And then Kevin and I went over to Craig and Lindy's house um, for dinner. Craig, is he's so good on a smoker. He smoked uh, filet for us and asparagus, which was amazing. And then some food that was left over, like this amazing salad. And I mean, there was just... Oh, it was so delicious. And some of her uh, staff was there with their husbands. And it was just a really nice evening and a perfect way to wrap up the week. We got up on, I'm getting confused, Sunday morning. <laughs> it's all running together. Sunday morning, we got up and headed home. Kevin and I stopped in St. Louis to go to the Arch and get some pictures. We also wanted to eat there. We were so hungry and we were, we were kind of waiting to eat there. COVID has really done a number on St. Louis. They, none of their restaurants were open, none of them. So we walked down by the park where the their ballpark was and then a game got out. So people were everywhere. It was like, let's just get back in the car and go. <laughs> so we ended up just finding a place outside of St. Louis and, and had dinner. And we stayed the night in just on the other side, like north of Indianapolis in a very nice hotel. And then we made it home on Monday. I think we got home around two, something like that. I don't know. Well, and then he had band practice Monday night, the poor guy. So we ended up eating dinner out like a really early dinner, like at two, two thirty. That's right. Uh, because he's like, when I get home, I'll be setting up my drums. I'm not going to have time to eat dinner, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, and then I spent that night unpacking and uh, visiting and playing cards with my mom and hanging out with Kyle and stayed up way too late. <laughs> so things are feeling a little bit more normal now. Uh, but so I will insert my video of the silver needle shot. Feast your eyes on this.
is that eye candy or what? Just absolutely incredible. So Wednesday, uh, I had witch paint Wednesday, so I got to do a little painting. And then Thursday, it was so funny. Let me just say this because it was very strange. Like I would sit down at someone's table at the retreat. I don't know anybody at the table. And I would sit down and someone would say, how's your mom and Jerry doing? <laughs> or, ah, today's Thursday. You don't get to spend time with your grandkids. Like people, you know, and, and they, people would say, I know it's super weird, but we know all about you. You don't know us, but we, like, we know you. <laughs> it, it is really strange. Something else I forgot to mention. I was going to set at Mendy Russell's table, her and her friend that I just, I adore her too. She, I met so many amazing people, but I was going to sit at her table the next day, like Friday. But when I got there, I got there a little bit late, remember? And her table was filled. So I went and sat with uh, Shauna Rogers, Stitching and Duda, or I think that's what it's called. And then um, Marlene, Stitching by the Lake. Oh my gosh, I got to know her. And her sister is hilarious loved hanging out with those ladies and then Kim I can't think of Kim's last name but she was hilarious as well and she ended up moving over to our table um, Saturday and, and hanging out with us but I really liked my table mates it was really fun and I was sitting there doing punch needle and a lot of people would come up and say can I watch you I was giving punch needle demos as much as possible there were, uh, was a, another lady there that she started and finished a punch needle while, you know, I was there. It was just really fun to see that. Oh, and then I had this brainiac idea just out of the blue. I said, I'm going to give everybody here that wants it my punch needle tutorial. So I announced that and I put out a piece of paper and I got a ton. Matter of fact, this just reminds me I need to add all these people to the tutorial. I haven't done that yet. But I have a huge two-sided paper full of emails of people that want my punch needle tutorial and I'm adding them in for free. It was just a nice little perk that I thought to do for them uh, because there was a lot of interest in punch needle. So I was really happy about that. Anyways, I probably will be bouncing back to the retreat when things come to my head. <laughs> oh yeah, I was starting to talk, to talk about um, Easton and Ellery. So yesterday was Thursday and we had the grandkids. It was Easton's second birthday and it was amazing. So Ellery actually got dropped off early earlier than Easton because um, his dad, Eric, took him out to breakfast, just the guys type of thing for his birthday, which I thought was really cool. So he, when Eric got here, he stayed and visited for a little bit because he was off that day. And he said, uh, he said, yeah, I was going to hang out with him a little bit more and do more stuff with him. But he kept saying, Gamma Gigi's, Gamma Gigi's. And it's, I'm not saying it was because he wanted to come see me in particular. I think it's because he knew his sister was at our house but anyways so we had the day with the kids and it was a total blast at the very end of my video I will insert some fun pictures and fun uh, videos of Easton eating his cupcake like that little kid on you know what's that Christmas movie a Christmas story with Ralphie you know how Ralphie's little brother eats like a little pig in and he's eating like this with his face. Yep, that's that's how Easton was eating his cupcake, and it was hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah, so yesterday was amazing, and then um, here we are today. Let's move on with whips, I guess. Okay, so for Witch of Paint Wednesday, I got a start on an angel. Let me get her for you. This has been printed off for, I would say, five at least five years out of my sketchbook. It's made for a 20 by 20 uh, cradle board, but I didn't have that size. I have an 18 by 24, so it still worked. But the reading on it is, keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Yeah, so I started on her. My thoughts on how the coloring is gonna go on this is it's going to be earth tones, browns, you know, a little bit of gold, some rust, those kind of colors, and some ivory. So I just got a little bit 
of a stir on her, but she's going to be really cool when I'm done. Now the verse, I really don't have room because it's not a 20 by 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the verse off the original painting and then I'm going to, in Photoshop, I can add the verse on the print so you can get a print without the verse or the print with the verse. I love that verse. So I think with the verse would be awesome. So yeah, hopefully I'll get her done this next Witch Paint Wednesday. You know, I, I did it. I'm not doing Q&A this week. I'm going to do it next week because I forgot to read all my comments from my last video. That's my bad. It just now dawned on me. So I will do Q&A next week. And if you did ask a question, I will just answer you right in the comments where you asked the question. Um, Sorry about that, guys. So, I did not do any stitching until I got back. Yesterday and then this morning I did a little stitching. <laughs> the reason is I forgot to take my tabletop lamp that has the magnifier on it because I cannot cross stitch without magnification and a bright light. So I had punch needle anyways, which worked perfectly because people wanted to see how punch needle was done. So I just did a little bit more on my cross stitch yesterday and a little bit today. So last time I had everything done, but I started on this flag. So I got the flag post done and then the flag and I had just a few stitches there and then I got to fill in the white. But anyway, she's coming along. And then the punch needle that I was working on at the retreat is actually going to be one of my new releases for Needlework Expo. So here's the back and you can see he's holding a little owl. There's all these stars and swirls. I got to finish the pumpkins and fill in the tree. And then the background is going to be like a gold, I think, a gold color. I'm going to do some of it and see if I like it. And then underneath all the pumpkins, all this part will be green like his little trousers. So here's the finished size or size side. I also might pull out some of these at the top of the pumpkins. I was, I forgot. I wanted to use a lighter orange at the top just to make it look like the moonlight is shining on the pumpkins. So I'm, I'm going to wait and do the whole thing. And then if I decide to do that, I can just pull those out and fill them back in. So this will be a new release for the Needlework Expo, which is coming up uh, quicker than I want to admit. Okay, so those are my whips. Finishes, I myself do not have any finishes, but so Jan Emmerich was there at the retreat. She brought a piece that she was working on for me. So I, the piece that I showed you, my cross stitch, long may she wave, that is going to be a part of a patriotic Americana book that's going to come out in March 2022 at the Needlework Market, okay? The Nashville Needlework Market. Well, she stitched something for me and she thought, well, I'm just going to bring it instead of mailing it, which I was so happy she did. Let me show you what she stitched for me. So this will be part of that book. What do you think, guys? I absolutely love it. So as you can see by the size of my hand, all of the punch or all the punch needle, oh my gosh, all of the designs in the Americana book that I'm developing are all going to be smalls. So this, I love this. This would be really cool as a stand up. It would be cool as a, you know, a oblong pillow. I mean, I just love this. So, oh, you know, when I design things, it just doesn't do them justice till I see them done. So thank you so much, Jan. I'm like, this is just so pretty. She's a beautiful stitcher. Oh, I knew I would have, let me, well, let me just finish my, uh, let me just finish this first. I totally forgot something I wanted to talk to you guys about from the retreat, but I'll do that after I finish <laughs> the finishes. So I had three people turn in photos of their finishes of my designs. So let's start with Tammy Easterling. Okay. She and her mom are the ones that drove three and a half hours to keepsakes that Saturday for the meet and greet. And she stitched Land That I Love and she just got it back from the framers. She stitched on 18 count Picture This Plus Fawn with all the called for threads. And I love how it turned out and her frame is absolutely perfect for that piece. So thank you so much, Tammy. It's really awesome. 
Next we have My Big Bird. That was stitched by Jan Holder. She said, oh my goodness, Teresa, this is my favorite FFO so far. I mounted it on a tray I found at Hobby Lobby. The item number is 1562891-S. Trimmed with mini pom-pom by Dames of the Needle in the color Noir. I stitched it on Mystery 32 Count Linen. I picked my own over-dyed flosses. I do want to mention this design is a Patreon-only design. It was from June uh, 2021. Uh, I am, for those of you that are interested in some of those designs, I don't know how to word this, I am going to be coming out with a book at market, I'm hoping, at not the at the Nashville market in March that will have the first, I'm probably going to have two books. One, because there's going to be a lot of them. There's a year's worth, that's 36 designs. I'm not going to have a book full of 36 designs. That's just too many. So I'm going to have two books. I'm also going to have a couple of books that would just have like three designs in it that coordinate, like I've been designing them some pretty decent sized samplers. So I could do a sampler and then I've got two small pieces that go with it. So that might be in a separate book. So these designs will be available to you, but it, you know, if you're in Patreon, you get to get them right away and all of that. And you don't have to pay like for the book and get all that stuff. So that's just one of the perks. Okay, moving on. Last but not least, I got to meet Julie Routon at the Silver Needle Retreat. She stitched land that I love. She started it, she said, January 1st, 2021, and she finished it on July 12th, 2021. She stitched it on Be Stitch Me Ice Queen in 40 count. For the floss, it says all the called for in the chart. She did do some changes in the design, which I think is awesome. She took out the cat and the dog. She added in the year 2021, which is the year she stitched it. And then she also replaced the cat and dog on the other side with USA and with some hearts. That very bottom border, she changed that to suit her needs and her likes, which I love that. You know, people ask me all the time, do you get offended when people change color or change, you know, little things about the design? And I feel like, you know, once you purchase that design, make it your own. You know, um, if you want to change something and put your date in or change something to put your name or your grandmother's name or what, I change the floss colors because it, you know, that way it matches your home. I think that's great. I think that's what it's all about is, you know, making this piece speak to you. So she said this was a sale with Lisa Newell at Lisa Stitch in Stable on Instagram. So thank you so much, Julie. It was really a pleasure meeting you. She, uh, she, her and her friends were actually on their way out on Saturday when I was still doing some drawings. So she did some of the, pulled some of the numbers out for me. <laughs> so thank you, Julie. It's such a beautiful piece. I really love it stitched on that blue. Uh, I know there's been a lot of controversy and a lot of people not knowing what color to stitch it on, but everything I have seen so far that people have done with this design has just been awesome. Okay, so the one thing that I didn't want to forget and then I forgot was I met Leanne, I don't have her last name right here, but so Leanne contacted me about being a model stitcher for doing the wool applique. And she said, well, I'm going to be at the retreat, so I'll just bring some of my stuff with me and you can see my work. Well, it was such a pleasure meeting her and her work is exquisite. Something that she did, she went beyond, above and beyond what I thought she would do. She actually stitched a couple of pieces of my artwork just so I could see what they look like stitched up. And I was blown away. I'm going to insert pictures here for you guys. So um, obviously... When I am ready to, you know, have some model stitchers work on those things for me, she's definitely at the top of my list. I was just blown away that she took the time to stitch some of my artwork to show me, you know, how it would look. So I really appreciate that, Leanne, and um, it was just really a pleasure meeting her and seeing all her beautiful work. She does a lot of Rebecca Smith 
stuff. And oh, I mean, it, when I was done talking to her, I'm like, man, I got to get on this because, oh, I mean, I just have so many pieces of work, you know, artwork and uh, cross stitch and punch needle that would make amazing little applique. It's just, you know, I want to do all the things. I just need more time. <laughs> so yeah, thank you, Leanne. Isn't her work exquisite? She did a really nice job. Okay, so I have haul and then I have the giveaway and we'll be done. Right before we left, I won a bid on eBay for an antique sampler. Now this sampler is in really rough condition, but I saw the beauty, even though it was really in rough condition. The motifs on the sampler just really spoke to me. And I'll, when I get to this one part, I'll have to show you. I'll have to tell you guys something that I learned at the retreat. Because at my table, I was telling them that I got an antique sampler and that it, you know, it was coming in the mail while it was gone. And I think it arrived. I think it was because my son called while I was sitting at the table and I ran outside to take his call. And, you know, he was saying, I think your sampler arrived, blah, blah, blah. So when I got back to the table. That's what made me think to tell them, guys. And um, so they goes, oh, do you have any pictures of it? So I pulled up some pictures on my phone that were from the eBay listing. And I was telling them what I thought this one thing was. And they're like, that is not a boat. I think it was, it was Kim, I believe, at the table that's like, that's not a boat. Okay, so guys, I have four other antique samplers that I need to chart that I've had for a little while now. I've showed them on my floss tube. But this one is going to be the one that I chart right away. Like, I would love to release this in Nashville 2022. I'm not going to hold my breath because it's a large sampler, and I think it's going to take me a long time to chart it because it's not like I can just sit down and chart this. I have a lot of other deadlines and things going on. But this is by far my favorite antique sampler that I've ever purchased. I'm going to read the verse to you real quick. It says, my life's a narrow span, a short, uncertain day. And if I reach the age of man, I soon will pass away. So it's a memorial sampler. And over here it says, Margaret Ann Neely, her sampler done in the 11th year of her age. And then, as it has happened many a time, they don't want, when they get older, they don't want people to know their age, so they take out the date. So I don't, I want to try to do some, you know, I don't know, ancestry or something. I want to try to find out as much as I can about this, this girl, 11 years old. I cannot believe that she did this and how beautiful it is. So as you can see, it's all missing right here. Like, look. This is all missing. So it was on cardboard, which obviously ate through the linen. Um, but I love the butterflies. There's a bird here that's, a lot of this is really hard to see. Adam and Eve. And then, let me scooch it over here. And then here we have a cow and a little lady. There's a, a swan here. And then we have this guy. He's holding a branch of strawberries, which is hilarious to me. This is a deer, a lion, and another, it looks like a, I don't know, it looks like a shepherd to me. And then over here we have a peacock and the super cool bird. Then a tree with another big bird here, a bird here, a fruit basket, a cow, and then this must be stitched one over one, this little guy here. Oh, I just love it. This angel here and here, are just amazing. This beautiful bouquet, flower bouquet in the center. All right, now it's going to be a little more tricky. So, okay, and this is the funny part. So I thought that this was a boat. This I thought was a boat right here, and this I thought was the front of the boat. It looks like a boat to me, and I was really excited about it being a boat. But I'm pretty sure it was Kim. It was either Kim or Marlene's sister. I don't remember who said it, but they're like, that's not a boat. So it makes sense. Once she, once, because I said, oh, look, there's initials in there. I want that, wonder what that means. What it is, is this is a memorial right here. You can see it. 
And these are the initials of probably some family members that has, have passed. And then this really cool, crazy looking tree, some flower vines coming up, a man and a little boy and a woman and a little girl. And then it's the same image on this side as well, but it's got different initials in it. Look at these two angels, you guys. How gorgeous is that? Oh, and then this is a church. This church is amazing with these two funky, funky birds. Okay. Now, under the church, it's hard to make out. Like, look at this little guy. Look how tiny that is. I love the border. The flower border is so pretty. So there's like this little house, I guess it is, or I don't know what that is. I don't know what this animal is, but he's hilarious. There's a bird that you can hardly see because it's so faded. It looks like part of the background. There's a girl here. Um, there's a tree, and I think that's a bird in the center. There's two dogs, one here, one there. There's a guy here. There's two little blue birds here. And then there's this big horse right here. And then the same little building on the other side. And these, this flower urn and then this other flower urn. What I love about them is they're not the same. So that one is different from that one. And these trees, upside down hearts. Oh my gosh, I love everything about it. I love everything about it other than the fact that it's going to be really hard to chart, to try to see everything in this piece. What do you think, guys? I am so excited. And I already have a model stitcher that is just chomping at the bit to stitch it, which is so exciting because I was, uh, to have this person stitch something for me is really exciting. So I have my work cut out for me, guys. <laughs> All right. What am I going to be working on this coming week? This coming, let's just say this coming month. <laughs> I'm going to obviously continue to stitch a little bit here and there. I got to finish my punch needle and I need to design a new one and get that one done as well because Needlework Expo is coming the end, the last weekend of August is Needlework Expo, which is the virtual online uh, wholesale show for the shops. We had one in March and we're having one again. Then I have a fabric line that is due, I think I mentioned this already, August 1st, which I'm probably going to go into the next week a little bit. So this coming week, I'm going to nose to the grindstone getting that done. I have a lot of the sketches done. It's just time to put, you know, paintbrush to paper and get the watercolors done. So that's really exciting because the topic for it, you guys are going to flip out. I told everybody at the retreat what the subject matter is. So if you have a friend that was there, you can ask them, but I'm not announcing it here. So I have that to finish. As soon as that is done, I'm going to be working on Needlework Expo, fully finishing things, you know, writing the directions, getting things printed. Kevin's going to be stuffing patterns like crazy. And so that's the end of August. And then, like two weeks after Needlework Expo, we leave for Utah, where I am teaching a watercolor painting in a little cross-stitch beginner's class. So I have all the prep work to do for that as well. Yeah, so when I get home uh, in September from that retreat, I am going to collapse because I don't think I have any deadlines after that for a while. Thank the Lord. But I'm going to be working on, you know, like you immediately have to start thinking, okay, Nashville's coming up in March. I know that sounds a long ways away, but it's really not because if you figure... I get back the end of, you know, mid, late September. Okay, October, November, and then Christmas, like all the holidays start coming. So that's busy. And then January, February, bam. It's the first weekend of March. So, and I have a lot of amazing things planned for that market. So, yeah, it's just, it's one of those things where it just, it's a constant rollover of, this is, there's no rusting on your laurels. Let's just say that. Not when you own a needlework business and <laughs> and and you're blessed with people like you that support my work so that I want to continue to create for you. Um, so anyway, let's move on to giveaway. Okay. 
I had some extra boxes, swag boxes that uh, were for, you know, Lindy's, some of Lindy's team. Okay. Well, this morning or this afternoon, right before I started recording this, I went to get the, <laughs> the sampler to show you guys, which I totally forgot to do as well. Uh, I went to get this out of the the bin that, I mean, it's been packed since we got back from Tulsa. I didn't even think to unpack it until I was getting ready to do this video. And I'm like, oh, I want to show them the framed sampler. I opened the bin and guess what I found? Boopy day. We had an extra swag box in there that was so... What I'm going to do is this is going to be my giveaway this week. So you will get the sampler, you'll get the DMC floss. I mean, it's quite the giveaway. So <laughs> make sure you get in on it. But let me just show you the sampler. So this that everybody got that came to the Silver Needle Retreat. And this will be released a year from now, basically. The 2022 Needlework Expo which will be at the end of August 2022. This sampler will be re released then. But one of my favorite parts of the sampler are these funky animals at the bottom. And somebody asked me, are all those animals like relatable to something, you know, like, is it, are they Michigan animals? I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, cats, Deer, sheep, our neighbor has sheep. We have deer in our yard all the time. We have wild turkey uh, all the time in our yard. Uh, when we moved in here, the people that lived here first, they had a goat to help keep down the poison ivy and a dog. I goes, now this creature I've never seen before. <laughs> we do have blue heron that comes to the pond to fish, but this guy's a little, like a black swan. I don't know, but I love him. I think he's adorable. So anyway, I love the verse on this. Everything, I don't know, everything just speaks to me. I love this piece. So um, beautiful job, of course. Always a beautiful job. Framing from Paula at Craft Gallery with the um, Ultra View anti-reflective glass. So, I mean, obviously there's reflection if I put it right towards a window. But for the most part, I mean, you can't tell there's glass on that. And I love that. I showed you earlier in the video what is inside this box. Now, I'm not going to open it because it has the sticker. <gasps> Actually, the sticker's broken. That's right. Anyways, if you want the swag box that was given away at the Silver Needle Retreat, all you have to do is comment below. You have to be 18, you know, all that stuff. Don't say giveaway. Don't say free. Don't say all that stuff. But all you have to do is make a comment with the word retreat. In your comment I don't care what the sentence is long as it's a sentence that says retreat I mean don't just type retreat put a little creativity in it if you could please because <laughs> this is a really special box and a really special giveaway so um, I really believe that it uh, warrants a person that wants it enough to make up a sentence and I want it to be somebody that wants this and will stitch it and be grateful to have it. So anyways, that is it, you guys. Thank you for spending your time with me. I know this video went really long, but I had a lot to talk about. And we will get back on track with some shorter videos coming up next week. All right. Thanks again. Bye. I forgot my tagline. Don't forget. Create every day. Bye. Daddy, I want to win the candle. Daddy, I want to win the candle. Oh, Bobby does. It's birthday. Hold on. Wait. You got to wait. We got to sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Easter. Happy birthday to you. Blow them out, Bobby. Blow them out. Oh, don't get too close. Blow it out. Blow it out. Blow it out.
Blow it out. Blow it. Out. Blow it. Go. Like you're blowing bubbles. Good harder. job. Do get it harder. closer. Harder. You can get a little closer. Get closer, closer. Bubby. Blow it. <laughs> Blow it. Ooh, almost. Oh. Do it again. Oh. Focus. <laughs> All right. Good job. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Careful, careful, those might be hot. Oh, <laughs> 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 By all means, Diamond. I need the blue one and the yellow one. Would you like Grandma to take the paper off? I need the blue one and the yellow one. Why would we do that? You want to hold on to those? Yeah, really. I love how we just... Hold on, let me get a plate. We've got to put your shirt back on. You want that, you want that frosting, don't okay. you? Okay, can we do that? Yeah. Well, don't want to mess up your pretty dress, right? I never realized how heavy these feel with all this. Icing on the inside, too. <laughs> Look at them holding them just down. Like, so excited. Mommy! Yeah! Look at you, you're a mommy. Oh, 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 you're a momm